With the release of Sea of Thieves Season 11, I'm making a series to talk about the best way to make levels in every single faction. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Merchant Alliance. So if you are looking to get to Max Distinction as a merchant and you want to know any way to get Max Distinction in all of the factions, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, as I do have a series of every single way and every single faction on my channel. Let's get into it. Right, first of all, let's start. So the main way, in my opinion, to get levels in the Merchant Alliance is through cargo runs. But you got to do some things first of all before I show you a surefire method to get some bulk levels. So the first part of this method is getting yourself to Emissary 5. You can either do that by doing some shipwreck missions or you could go ahead and dive to a different voyage of your choice. Whether it be the Burning Blade, the Fort, or even diving to a shipwreck voyage, do whatever you can to get to Grade 5. For me personally, I found the best way to get that level and the most fun way to get that level 5 is to dive to a fort and then to do a shipwreck voyage right after. To me, that's a really quick way of getting Emissary 5 in under 30 minutes, although you could do the shipwreck assuming you get all of the items and that'll get you level 5 too. Diving to that will be a bit quicker as well. But anyway, get level 5 in any way you can, and then go and sell. From there, the method really starts. So this is pretty much a rework of a method I showed way back two years ago that I've been using for a while. But what you want to do is dive to either the Devil's Roar or the Main World. Specifically though, you want to dive to a cargo run voyage. Where you go there is completely up to you. I like the Devil's Roar, but it is a bit risky with the volcanoes. But the method I find most effective is in the Devil's Roar, so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But you can take the basic premise and adjust it to your liking. So, when you do dive for a cargo run of the Devil's Roar, one of two things are going to happen. One, you'll either spawn at a sea post where you pick up your first voyage, or two, you're going to spawn at an island which will take you to a sea post. If you do spawn at an island that takes you to the sea post, go ahead and pick those items up, then head on over to the sea post. If you do spawn at a sea post, you're going to want to sit there for a while, grab the first lot of voyages, and put them in a safe space respectively. Now, you will have to put the plants in the water, so I just drop them slightly off the side of the dock, that way if they Think they'll just hit the rock below the actual sea post and they won't fall to the abyss and everything else keep out of the way of any danger you won't have to worry about rain because you're in the devil's roar but you will have to worry about volcanoes which can really make a mess of your bottles so be cautious while working that out. So from here, you're going to pick up all of your items, then you're going to revote down a cargo run voyage, not to dive, but just to do, and keep going until you get one that spawns on the sea post you're currently at. You'll find out of eight voyages, one of them will always put you at the exact same sea post you're already at. And once you get that voyage, all you'll need to do is pick up your items and restore them in the safe space. Now, you can pretty much rinse and repeat this method as much as you want. It is quite boring but it's the most effective way to make merchant levels and there really is no limit to how many times you do this while testing this method i've done it two ways i did it by grinding world events and i did it by doing this cargo run method and every single time i tested it this cargo run method turned out to be the most effective way to make merchant levels and it's very very low effort but of course, there are some risks. Primarily, you're going to have the risk of volcanoes, which will always spawn if you do this long enough. And two, of course, are the players which can come and take your progress. But that's just Sea of Thieves. That's how the game works. Now, another thing it's worth mentioning that's really important. Every single voyage you get from this sea post will take you to the same place. But there is a time limit on when you can sell these items. So if you go over that, what you've done is effectively wasted your time altogether. So be extremely vigilant, have an idea of how long you've got before you can sell them, and of course, just have fun while doing it. And to premise why you need to do this after already getting grade 5, it's because you'll only get reputation for selling these voyages, not so much for picking them up. But anyway, with that being said, that's the method on how you can get the highest amount of merchant emissary value in the shortest time possible. So if this video has helped, let me know down in the comments section, and leave a like on the video, as it does support the channel. Again, if you do want to see any other Sea of Thieves guides, make sure you subscribe that notification bell and with that being said i'm gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna catch you all in the next one goodbye for now